it's Chris. It's 10 degrees out. We've had 40 mile an hour gusting winds. The power's been going on and off. And look what showed up today. A new Ryobi 1800 watt power station. So we've been wanting to test this. So let's take a look what's inside. Charging power brick. Case. It's like two batteries. Unit seems pretty nice and light. Let's go and check it out and see how it performs. power batteries. With two batteries, it's 21 pounds. To turn the unit on, you press and hold the button on the left here, and it boots up. It shows the charge on each of the four batteries. Unfortunately, it doesn't show wattage going in or out. It just shows what the load value is in this sort of bar chart. It has a button up here to turn on a work light. It's different modes. Buttons are pretty hard to push in. They're very small and my fingers are pretty fat. It has LCD brightness. And then it has a button to connect the Bluetooth. To turn on the AC outlets, you have to press and hold the number two button. And now the AC outlets are on. It has two type C ports that are three amps and they can be either 5, 12, or uh, 20 volts. And then it has uh, two type A ports, which are disimportantly only 2.1 amps each. And it has three 120 AC outlets that are 15 amps each with a circuit breaker and supposedly you can put this in parallel with another unit. You can put different size batteries in it. I've just added my two 4 amp hour batteries and now when you look at the display you can see that the two 4 amp hours are fully charged and the two 6 amp hours are half charged. So it's nice that you can mix and match and hot swap Testing out the USB ports, I'm going to set it to 2.1 amps, that's 2 amps and it's still working, 2.09 amps it's still working, as soon as I go exactly over 2.1 it drops out, so exactly 2.1 amps, no more. I wanted to test the type C ports but um, they seem to be dead as a doornail. I've tried several different testers and you type C devices and just nothing's coming out. I found one of my USB type C testers that allows you to change the voltage actually works with this unit. I'm surprised the type C doesn't work with other ones. So right now it's set to 5 volts. I'm gonna set it up to 3 amps and see how we do. So it's working at 3 amps, all the voltage has dropped down a little bit because of the draw. 12 volts. So it's working at 12 volts. 3 amps. It's working at 20 volts, 3 amps. And then back to 5. So it works at 5, 12, and 20 at 3 amps. A really terrible feature of this unit is as soon as you plug in the charger, it shuts off all your AC. So there's no pass-through charging. Not good. I made an 18 volt to 40 volt adapter for my 300 watt pure sine wave inverter, but it doesn't quite fit in the uh, 1800 one. It's the slot size is just a little bit different. So I'm gonna have to adjust the model and give it a shot. You can control the power station with the Gen control app on your phone. This is the iPhone version. You just have to 
pair the two devices by hitting the, the pair button here. And then you can see what's going on. You can control the work light here. You can turn it on. You can make it high powered, low powered, red, blank. Turn it off. You can control the backlight of the screen here. You can turn it on. You can make it low power. You can make it high power. You can see the status of the batteries. I have three plugged in. Power's off, I could turn the power on. So now the AC's on. The six amp power batteries say they have 216 watt hours. The charger says it's 80 watts. This is a serial charger. It charges one battery at a time. And it's a 1.5 amp charger, so it's gonna take a long time for things to charge. This is a pure sine wave inverter, not modified like a lot of other ones. You can see really nice sine wave and when I put a load on it, it still stays a nice sine wave. I've set up a ceramic heater and if I put it on the low setting, it's about 780 watts. And I've got the two six amp hour batteries. They're each rated for 216 watt hours. So that's 432 watt hours. Uh, so it should run for about 33 minutes. I've set up a timer and I've got my kilowatt meter here so we can check the wattage. It's currently showing zero watts. I'm gonna put it on low and I'm gonna start the timer. So we have about 780 watts. It says it's a 49% load. And we'll just keep an eye on the timer to see how long it runs. Okay, at 27 minutes, I started getting the system low voltage error message. Seven, almost 28 minutes it stopped it's not working with just the two batteries the batteries are half full I'm gonna try it now with two fully charged uh, 4 amp hour batteries that works. Okay, my table saw has been the hardest test on inverters. It doesn't usually run. So let's see if it works on this one. Nope. Even with the four batteries, it won't run. This is the sander. Nope. I put my two four amp hour batteries in, in addition to the six amp hour batteries, and we'll give that a shot. Nope, that also put an overload in. This is the shop vac using two six amp hour batteries. No good. Okay, I've added my four, two four amp hour batteries in addition to the six amp batteries. We'll try the vacuum. That works. Test the microwave, heating up water for two minutes. Nope, it failed. Low voltage. This is running with two six amp hour batteries. Okay, now I'm going to try the microwave for two minutes with all four batteries, uh, two six amp hours and two four amp hour batteries. Nope, that failed also. Well, the refrigerator is running, but the low level says zero, which is interesting. See the. I hear the compressors running. 
turn the vacuum on. Showing 77% left. Running with just the two batteries. Saying system low voltage, but it's still running. And as, I, as soon as I turn it off, the voltage still giving the warning. If I turn it off and turn it back on, it shows that the batteries are half full again and the warnings disappeared. Okay, I'm going to try the heat gun test, see how this goes. So that's just the fan. I'll put it all the way on. It's giving me a system low voltage warning. This is a 1500 watt heat gun. Oop. And we get the low voltage warning. Not good, the batteries were half full. I hit reset and I'm still getting the system low voltage warning. I'll try turning it off. Turn it back on. And the batteries are showing half full. The warning's gone away. I'm gonna repeat the heat gun test. I've added my two four amp hour batteries in addition to two six amp hour batteries. And okay, let's see what happens this time. Oops. First gotta turn on the AC. Just the fan. Now I'm going to add the heat. The low level is up to 92 percent. And it's interesting, all the batteries are now starting half full. So if I go back to the fan, and you see the two floor batteries go back to three bars. When I turn it off, it goes back to the two top batteries, which the four amp hour batteries show fully charged, and the two six amp batteries show they're half charged. And the fan has started running. So what do I like about this station? Well, the package is nice, and the fact that it takes uh, the four 40 volt batteries. What I don't like, a lot of things. The fact it can't run half of my equipment, it, in fact, it doesn't use 18 volt batteries. Problems with the USB-C not working with all my devices. Uh, the display only showing uh, a very poor representation of the power being used instead of watts. A big thing is the fact that you won't be able to use it with a solar panel because it's not a pass-through charging. As soon as you plug it in the charge, all you can do is charge. You can't even use, run the AC or DC components. I would definitely give this a thumbs down I'll put links to some other power stations that are much more appropriate and I'm hoping Ryobi will fix this. I hope you found this information helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.